Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Earthbound. You're here with Randall Lefebvre, otherwise known as Drax Craven. When he realizes that the mountain has gone quiet. Liar, you got anything to say about the bee? Alright, liar. I'll come back alone. But yes, there are no snakes and there are no dogs. I guess they don't like bees. Understandable. You know, um, they use recordings of bees to uh, scare elephants away from areas because elephants hate bees. Bees will get up in their trunks and start stinging the crap out of them from the inside. It's bad. It's very unfortunate. Oh, hello. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stump you. Well then. The Starman Jr. Um, I guess he can get sent back in time because he's not a full Starman. You know, less expenditure of energy or whatever. A Buzz Buzz is a cool, uh, a cool ally. He will uh, protect all of us with psychic shields. This is important. Oh, nice try, Piggy. Pokey, you're totally useless. I did two damage. Oh, this is no bueno. Buzz Buzz did 62 damage. Jeez. Pokey played dead. Thanks, pal. Oh, boy. Oh, nice. Okay. So, Buzz Buzz is pretty tough, but more importantly, he can project a psychic shield to pr protect us from psychic attacks. Uh, Piggy, I don't think you know magic. I've got some really bad news. You don't know magic. I'm, I'm glad that you tried, but uh, I don't think it'll work. Whoa! Buzz Buzz critical hit! Buzz Buzz critical hit! Get out of here, Starman. 16 experience points. Sweet experience points. Guts. Vitality. Intelligence. So, oh, just a moment. Whew, I was taking a big chance there. You came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent, due to Gygus's influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Strange that he should remark that. Um, so when Ness's IQ increases, his power points, or psychic points, will also increase, or PP for short. And when his vitality goes up, his hit points will increase. What does Guts do? And we'll talk about Guts later. Because Guts is quite possibly my favorite statistic in this entire game. So we'll save it until it's really dramatic. Oh, jeez. This music is unpleasant. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Uh, I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. Mmm! Child abuse in my JRPG? Eh, it's more likely than you think. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, may my family now live in poverty. I don't think that's the case. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Oh. Oh, jeez. Well, you know, uh, a full adult human. Tougher tougher than Buzz Buzz. He is very small. <laughs> I was much weaker than I thought. And so you must now begin your adventure. You see, you... Oh, I just remembered. Please listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. Are we going on an ascetic journey? We're going on an ascetic journey! The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? I hear you. All right. You're a very intelligent young man. And, oh, the pain. Everything's going dark. 
<laughs> uh, before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the Soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight Your Sanctuary locations. Oh, excuse me. Wait, what? These places have melody? What? The musical? We'll figure out, I guess. Into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. Did you want to hear my story one more time? No thanks. Once is enough. Good. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Uh, oh, jeez. Ness got the soundstone. He's dead. You killed him, Pokey's mom. My husband is very soft-hearted. I was so tired. Nag, nag, nag. Oh, God. Well, let's see how Pokey and Picky are doing. And my dad really got after me. He said I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. Jeez. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. Jeez. You crushed their creativity. And no dessert till the end of the decade? Well, it is 1990X. I do suppose it depends on what year it is. If it's 1999, it's just a couple months until 2000. It's not so bad. Oh yeah, into the realm of the dawn. Oh, and this. What could this be? A photographer, silly. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. All right, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Are you ready? Say fuzzy pickles. One of the few nest smiles. Enjoy them while they last. <laughs> what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. What? Oh. I'm pretty sure that's one of Gygus's minions sent back in time, and he's actually just like... He's he's reformed from evil, and he's just like, Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna take pictures of, of Ness, because he's a cool dude. You're back. Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Others understand these things. Eat some cereal and scoot up to bed. You know what? That is perfect. After, after that event, I would love a bowl of cereal and a nap. <laughs> My best friend just died. He's also a bug from another plane of existence, but you know, whatever. He was my friend, damn it. He saved my life from a robot from the future. Funny, the Starman didn't say he was gonna kill me. I don't wanna go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. <laughs> Anything else, Mom? Good morning, Sleepy Bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? I'm so proud of you. My little man is growing up so fast. You can also call your father. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $36 into your bank account. Taking away what you spend, you should now have $66 in the bank. Well, the experience points to get to the next level are 19. Anyway, need anything? Record my progress. All done. Dear old dad, I was also thinking about hitting the A for the night. Created a record of your adventure to this point, so good night and sleep tight. Sorry, pops. Gotta keep going. Ness, you like to work hard. Just like you, mother. But I don't think it's a good idea to work too hard. That's right, this game even encourages you to stop playing it more forcefully later on. Um, we'll get to that later, but yeah, you're, when, when Ness calls his father, his father will say all sorts of- Oh no! You son of a bitch bird! Give me my bread roll back! There's no getting it back. That's not a bread roll, that's a cookie. That is strictly inferior. Also, this game features auto combat. If you don't feel like fighting the fight, or you think that the combat will be too simple, you can just hit auto fight. It actually has a pretty sophisticated AI that will even heal you with psychic techniques if you're hurt, based on uh, how much health you have missing. I'll be using auto fight for like most of the non-boss battles, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. The battles in this game are often blissfully short. And I'll even showcase another function later on. But, what I was trying to say was, right, this game encourages you to stop playing it and go do something else, because, yeah, the game is fun, but there are other things you could be doing. You know, not in a Metal Gear Solid 2 kind of way. Turn the game off, Raiden. Stop adventuring, Ness. <laughs> but, I am going to climb back up the mountain to go see what Liar was talking about. I wonder what his relation with Ness is. They seem like friends, but 
Why is there a weird creepy man who lives on top of a hill and wanna chat with me? Anything in the drawers? No problem here. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go into the basement. Ah, I can tell by the look in your face you don't want to hang out, do you? That's alright, after all, we're not even related. I know you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. What a dump. Hole in the floor. Bad mattress. Huh. And again. As you can see, the liar has been busy. Digging an extensive series of tunnels. Darkest dungeon, anyone? Did you find a portal to another plane of existence? So, Ness, buddy, I, I found proof of a great treasure. A huge hall. Yeah, <laughs> I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Is this a sign of what lies below? I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. What? The golden statue is glowing strangely. I wonder what it is that associates garlic with strength. Because I know, like, you know, Wario is this big, tough jerk, and he eats garlic. And that's, like, his power-up instead of mushrooms. But, yeah, no. I... May start to get greedy thoughts. Liar, what did you discover? What is that thing? Uh, I can't rightly say, and he won't let me get close enough to examine it too thoroughly. All I do know is that it has a very strange glow. Oh, oh, let's sped up the game. There we go. <laughs> fight complete. I finished the fight. Halo taught me. Anyway, let's get on to town. Uh, Onet has a library, but I'm probably not going to go in there. Alright, I'll go in the library, but I'm not picking up the town map. So, as you can see, Ness has scarce few uh, spots in his inventory. The soundstone takes up a... Uh, takes up a inventory slot, and so do all of the pieces of equipment. And he has the ATM card. Also, of course, there are things that the crow can't steal. He can't steal the sound zone, soundstone, for instance, and he also can't steal any equipment. Although it is funny to imagine what a crow would be like stealing a baseball bat. For the most part, all they can steal is healing items. That being said, some healing items are more valuable than others. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for free. I am not going to borrow a map. My inventory space is valuable, but there are other interesting things to hear about here. A giant step that the monster got in that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made giant step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. A man of few words. It's useless talking to him now. What? Why is there a masked man? Recently, I sensed the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? I don't think so. Hmm. Another shy person? I recently read a book titled Our Convenient Society. It said that our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Just knowing that's convenient. Glad I read the book. Can't believe I don't know this stuff. I'll check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. <laughs> I've read the book called Our Society is Convenient. It said these days there are always telephones in hotels and drugstores. I also learned that to use a green pay phone costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eat, uh, eaten up by your phone calls. Glad I read that book. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess they have a very interesting way of tutorializing things. Talking to people who've read books. What's up, man? Nothing. Nothing to say, I guess. I'm cramming for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you'll wake up with full hit points and power points. Life recovery rule. Recovering your life will give you full hit points, but zero psychic points. I bet this stuff is going to be on the test. What? What? I... So, so, I'm in a video game? What is this hell? What is this fresh hell I've been thrust into? I'm researching Giant Step. It's located north and west of Onet. I heard it possesses a special power. Hmm. 
I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. I was staring out the window and there it was, just fluttering there. I'd only seen it in the encyclopedia before. What was it? A magic butterfly! If you get close enough to a magic butterfly, all your cares fly away, just like a fluttering butterfly. Yep, yep, that's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. I love talking about it. Oops, sorry about the outburst. I got carried away with all that talking about lovely butterflies. There's something deeply, profoundly, and just like whimsical about all this dialogue. Uh, no, I'm in here. Don't try to come in, especially if you don't need to use the bathroom. It just... This guy is, like, apologizes for acting like a tutorial because, you know, if a real human being just started talking about magic butterflies, you'd probably be like, dude, too much information. And he's like, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I just really like butterflies, dude. Yes, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? Nah, sorry, man. I'm on an adventure. You're busy. Don't worry, I understand. I, yeah. I really like some of the characters that you meet, especially those that, like, Ness already knows because they're all incredibly understanding people. You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. <laughs> You're so cool. Hey, I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. I had a dream about you. You were traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. <laughs> I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. Thanks, man. The Mr. Baseball cap is an exceptional piece of armor. It gives more uh, defense than the regular baseball cap. Must be equipped as other. It's said to have been given to your friend by a famous player at the ballpark. Oh, well, I will carry. I will carry this honor forward into combat against the terrible creatures that plague this world. I'd like to think that that clubhouse is filled with um, other psychic kids because like, it's obvious that this game, in this, in, in this world, there are lots of people who have psychic powers. That guy who had dreams of UFOs or that kid who had a dream of like some girl I've never met. I'm not your enemy. I'm simply your average run of the mill mole. Would you like some hints about fighting enemies? Yeah, sure. Now listen carefully. My hint involves which way you're facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. When they approach you this way, your TV screen, uh, I mean the world in front of you, will show a red swirl for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In that case, your TV, uh, sorry again, the world in front of you will show a green swirl. The point is, try to fight so that you always have the advantage. Thanks, Mole. You're a cool mole. Giant step, north of the top of the mountain. Danger, do not enter. You can't stop me. I'm a kid on an adventure. I heard there's a big footprint at the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself, it's just a rumor. This shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes. Motels are too expensive. What? Oh, the traveling entertainer shack. Oh. Huh. Door is locked, as they say. Do not enter. Hmm. These guys must be traveling entertainers of some variety, and it seems like they don't have a place to stay. Poor guys. I guess they're just like hobos living out on the corner of town, you know? Trying not to survive, trying to survive, huddled together for warmth, trying not to get, you know, killed by all the snakes and stray dogs. Oh man, most of the, they probably haven't had anything to eat in days. Like every time they try to eat something, a crow comes by, it's just like, nope, my bread, my sandwich, my hammy, you ain't getting none. Man, it sucks to be a traveling entertainer, it's rough. What's going on, man? Your kid's full of sharks. I can't play there. That sucks. Ooh. Hamburger in the trash can. I'll take it. Nice. 100% beef. Good. I'm glad. I'm, I'm really appreciative about that. Um. Why are we in the drugstore? Figure out next time on Let's Play Earthbound. If you want to continue the adventure, please subscribe. If you liked what you saw, hit like. If you want to comment about how weird this game is, or what a particular piece of weirdness in this game meant, then drop a comment, and I will answer it to the best of my ability. Until then, good night, everyone.